Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to talk with you today about an event that is coming up in a few months, uh, more specifically in August of this year, 2023. And I want to discuss why this event could be a game changer in regards to end times Bible prophecy, prophecy, excuse me, more specifically as we continue to push toward the coming empire and economy of the future Antichrist. As we discuss this event that is coming up in August of this year, 2023, I want you to keep in mind that the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel both speak of a 10 nation confederacy that will precede the arrival of the future Antichrist. It actually speaks of the 10 horns or the 10 kings that will precede the arrival of the future Antichrist and who will eventually give their power unto the beast. Folks, the dominance of the U.S. dollar in global trade is facing a significant challenge as emerging global economies such as China and India step forward to trade in their own currencies. Besides, countries either seen as aligned or neutral by the West in terms of ongoing Russian uh, offensive in Ukraine are increasingly banding together to focus on mutual global finance. The BRICS, that's what we're going to be talking about today, BRICS, B-R-I-C-S. BRICS stands for uh, the countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. All right. So the BRICS countries are reportedly exploring the creation of a common currency for trade amongst themselves. A new financial agreement seen with a potential to translate into a common BRICS currency could be announced as soon as August, this August 2023, at the forthcoming BRICS summit. So there's going to be a summit uh, with these nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South America, who make up the BRICS uh, nations, there's going to be a summit in South Africa this August 2023. And I want to talk again why I believe this could be a major game changer in regards to end times Bible prophecy. Here's a recent article in from Kitco, K-I-T-C-O dot com, but there's many other sources reporting on it. Recently in, Ditch the Dollar Movement Grows as Russia Calls for the Creation of a Common BRICS Currency. Let me read some of this to you. Following years of abusing its reserve currency status, the United States now faces a growing wave of global de-dollarization as many of the largest and most populous countries on the planet are banding together to launch a U.S. dollar alternative to be used in global trade. According to a report from a local news outlet, State Duma Deputy Chairman Alexander Babakov is encouraging the creation of a new common currency between Russia, India, and other BRICS nations as a way to push back against the U.S. The US dollar um, hegemony, if I'm saying that right. BRICS, which is an acronym for five of the world's leading emergency economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, has been receiving extra airtime as of late amid aggressive interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve, which has put pressure on the currencies of other countries. Babakov highlighted the fact that Russia and India would both benefit from the creation of a common currency that could be used for payments, calling it the most viable route to take at this time. New Delhi, Moscow should institute a new New Delhi and Moscow should institute a new economic association with a new shared currency, which could be a digital ruble or the Indian rupee, said Babakov. He went on to note that China would also play a crucial role in the development of a common currency as it would add an additional 1.4 billion participants to the system. New Delhi, Beijing, and Moscow are the nations that now institute a multipolar world that is endorsed by the majority of governments, he said. Its composition that is endorsed, uh, its composition should be based on including new monetary ties established on a strategy does not defend the United States dollar or euro, but rather forms a new currency component of benefiting 
our shared objectives. Our goal should be focused on writing new rules in the financial sphere in order to enable the use of an already common currency, Babakov stressed. It doesn't matter whether it's a digital ruble, a digital rupee, a digital win, or some other currency, but this currency must follow the laws of our respective nations. Now, I want to discuss again why this is why I believe this may be a game changer, folks. So in August 2023, coming up here in a few months, you're going to have this BRICS summit, which again, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, they're all going to be getting together at this summit. And they're going to be discussing a new financial agreement seen with the potential to translate into a common BRICS currency. Now, this is incredible because we know the dollar uh, is collapsing. The dollar will lose its value. And we know, according to Scripture, the coming economy of the Antichrist, there will be a one-world digital currency that will be able to control all buying and selling and track everyone, no matter where you're going to be at all times. So we know the dollar has to fall and something else has to take over, right? And we have these five nations joining together to bring forth this, what they're calling the BRICS currency. But what really gets my attention, folks, and it should yours, is this. So we know currently BRICS has five nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa that are all a part of BRICS. But the news came out just a few months ago that there is going to be an expansion. More countries are going to join BRICS. How many? This should catch your eye. Five. They're talking about five new members joining this year in 2023. And this is one of the things that should be on the itinerary in the coming summit in August. In fact, if you look at this recent post, um, the nations that they're expecting to join at the coming summit would be Argentina, Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey. Possible entry into BRICS discussion can be expected at the next summit, referring to the summit coming up this August 2023. Now, why is this so significant? They're talking about an expansion of adding five more countries to the BRICS nations because there's already five. If they add five, there's 10. There's 10. And they're talking about, again, with the dollar losing its value, and eventually we know the dollar is going to collapse. They're talking about bringing this BRICS currency, and that's going to be the main thing on the agenda during this summit in a few months in August. They're talking about an expansion of bringing five more nations into it. That's going to bring you, so add, there's already five in it. They're talking about adding exp, uh, an expansion of five more nations. That's 10 folks. Why should that get your attention? Because we know according to scripture in the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, there will be a 10 nation confederacy. There will be the rise of 10 kings, 10 horns that precede the arrival of the future Antichrist. And eventually, again, they're going to give their power unto the beast. And if we see the stage continuing to get set up for the rise of this future 10 nation confederacy, if we see the stage continuing to get set up for the future economy of the Antichrist, and we know the rapture of the church occurs. Before the Antichrist is even revealed, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. If we're still here in August, and I say that because we're watching every day on this channel, but if we're still here in August, this is going to be an amazing event to watch when they have this BRICS summit in August of 2023. We're going to see them do this expansion of adding more nations as the dollar continues to lose its value and the world continues to look to another leading agency or confederacy, 10 nation confederacy, to take the world stage, leading straight into the future economy of the Antichrist. I had to share this one with you today, folks. If we're still here in August, again, we're watching every day on this channel, right? I think this is going to be a game-changing event. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ. 
in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me and God bless you all.